Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss one more hexagonal pyramid. In the previous videos, we discussed hexagonal pyramids, triangular faces on HP. Then hexagonal pyramid where edges perpendicular to both HP and VP. Here, the hexagonal pyramid slant edges on HP. So, a hexagonal pyramid side of base 26 mm, axis 50 mm long has one of its slant edges on HP such that two of its triangular faces containing the slant edge on which its rests are equally inclined to HP draw its projections. So, one of its slant edges on HP. What do you mean by slant edges? So, if you check this diagram OA, OB, then OC, OD like that we are having six slant edges. I am assuming OB is the slant edge which is exactly on HP. In that case for me in the base we are having only a corner. Which corner? B corner must touch us HP. So that's the first idle condition we can fix. One corner must touch HP in the base. Base of hexagon. Then such that two of its triangular faces containing the slant edge. So two of its triangular faces in OB slant edge, two triangular faces are one is OAB, another one is OBC. Must be equally inclined to HP. So if you check here, one face, this is B, this is A, this is C. So this A, B and B, C must be equally inclined, which means OAB triangular face, OBC triangular face is equally inclined to HP while fixing corner B. So if you rotate 90 degree in clockwise direction, as per first angle projection, our top view of hexagon will be like this. The edge which is now parallel to VP or perpendicular to HP, here it becomes parallel to HP, parallel to XY. We will see one more uh, actual model. If you see here, this is a slant edge. If you fix this slant edge, obviously there is a corner on the base. Slant edge, so corner on the base. That's why corner is fixed. Two triangular faces. In this slant edge, we are having two triangular faces. These two triangular faces, if you fix this corner, these triangular faces are equally inclined. So we know what is the top view of a hexagonal pyramid. So top view of a hexagonal pyramid is hexagonal position where one side must be or two sides must be parallel to XY which means this corner is on HP. After completing this we can give a notation side is 26 mm then we can give a notations for each corner A, B, C, D, E and F. Complete all the slant edges fix point O. Then extend the projectors from all the corners. Extend the projectors from all the corners as well as from the center point or axis point O. After extending all the projectors from the uh, top view extending all the projectors from the top view complete the front view so front view axis length is 50 mm axis length is 50 mm we know how to uh, represent this notations as an observer you are standing here as an observer you are standing here a b c d will be visible e and f is invisible for us that is the reason f dash e dash in the bracket once again i repeat as an observer you are standing here a b c d corner or this corners are visible but e and f is invisible that's why e dash f dash is represented in the bracket axis length is 50 fix word as axis length as 50 mm complete the front view as triangle by extending all the projectors or all the slant edges respective slant edges from the top view this is the simple position of hexagonal pyramid where one of its slant edges on hp now we have to draw the change of position required position we have to keep one slant edge on hp which slant edge we will not we can opt od 
or we can go for OA both are correct if you check two triangular faces uh, OAF or OAB both are equally inclined if you are fixing OD slantage ODC or OED both are triangular faces equally inclined with respect to this OD slantage we will fix O dash and D dash slantage on HP after completing it first you try to fix A dash for fixing A dash take O dash as center A dash as radius so measure this distance it is not exactly 50 O dash as center A dash as radius Pick, measure that distance keep your compass here draw an arc similarly D dash as center A dash as radius D dash this D dash as center A dash as radius fix this D dash as center complete the arc both will meet at one point so we can keep that point as A dash complete your triangle in the front view now it will be easy for us from D dash what is the distance of C dash and E dash so from here you can measure from D dash measure the distance of C dash and E dash and similarly from A dash measure the distance of B dash and F dash after measuring the distance convert everything from here to this uh, step number 3 so this is easy only thing make sure that you are fixed the point A dash exactly correct so O dash A dash as center O dash as center A dash as radius draw a one arc then O dash A dash as center similarly D dash as center A dash as radius so here D dash A dash as radius draw two arcs to fix A dash after identifying A dash measure the distance of B dash F dash from A dash and C dash E dash from D dash at the midpoint you are having an axis now step number four story of family same family members will meet at one point in a function so we will start from uh, AD so AD is a OA slantage OD slantage O dash D dash is the first slantage which is on HP from O dash you fix O1 so here it is o, o family members meeting at this point make it as O1 next is A dash so on the same extended projector we are having A A1 next we can go for we can go like uh, EF here similarly uh, here it is B dash and F dash so first we can fix F so F and here also F both are meeting at this point make it as F1 then B is here so B extended the projector here also extended the projector both are meeting at this point mark F1 and B1 next one is C dash E dash so extend the projectors vertical projector so if you check here it is C so make it as C1 here it is E make it as E1 final point is d dash so this is extended the projector here it is d d dash and d meeting at this point make it as d1 after completing uh, the notations marking all the notations in the top view always join the outer surfaces first outer edges first so o1 to f1 f1 to e1 then e1 to d1 d1 to c1 c1 to o1 b1 then b1 to o1 always join the outer boundary first then if you see from here if you see from the top clearly you can see the entire hexagon this hexagon this base all the corners will be visible if you see from the top if you see from the top all the corners will be visible for us so we can complete the entire hexagon as which all six corners is visible next slant edges slant edges if you check o dash f dash already it is visible o1 f1 similarly o dash a dash is visible for us so that's why o1 a1 is visible continuous thick line remaining is o b o f is already joined another slant edges are o dash 
E dash, O dash, C dash. Always remember for hidden line below the axis of this view, front view. Below the axis, we are having three slant edges O dash, C dash, O dash, E dash, O dash, D dash. Whenever, whatever may be the problem, below the axis, whatever may be the slant edges, it will be visible, invisible from the top. If you have any doubts or queries in how to fix the hidden line, check the description box for a separate video of projection of solid shortcut for this position. Then how to draw the hidden lines in the final step is this clearly explained in that video. So here always remember below the axis whatever may be the slant edges will be invisible. So O1 E1 is invisible. Similarly O dash C dash is below the axis so invisible. O dash D dash is exactly on XY from the top. So this slant edge is on XY so here also it is invisible. O1 A1 O dash a dash is exactly on the same uh, slant edge in the final position. So being it is visible, connect A1, D1 alone as a invisible line. So this is the final answer of this question. If you wish to see the uh, videos of uh, pentagonal pyramid slant edge on HP, hexagonal pyramid triangular face on HP, hexagonal pyramid, uh, sorry, pentagonal pyramid, triangular face on hp check the description box for a link or you can check the channel playlist projection of solids for those problems thank you